I'm Melanie. Uh, my company is Slipstream Fabric Finishes and Slipstream unlocks the infinite potential of cloth with handcrafted colour. I first started working in textiles in the early 1990s and I actually fell in completely by accident. Um, prior to that I'd been a croupier. I'd fallen into that by accident as well after I left school and I really, really did not enjoy the job. I, I was not happy as a croupier. And I, at the time, was dating a guy who was a screen printer. And he said to me, why don't we make some t-shirts together that we print some slogans on and sell that at the flea market. And when we were talking about what we were going to make, he said to me, well, maybe we can make some tie-dyed stuff as well. And I said to him, what the hell is that? I'd never heard of tie-dye before. Um, I'd never worked with color. I'd never worked with cloth before. So this was all brand new to me. So we bought some dye and we got 20 t-shirts from the Oriental Plaza and I'll never forget that first day I mixed these tiny little glass bowls of colour up and I gingerly dipped the fabric in there. I didn't know what I was doing but it was quite magical when I opened the stuff up. They were like butterflies when they emerged from the colour and um, what was even more magical was that people actually bought them. That was a great opportunity for me to then take that money, go out, buy more t-shirts, make more, sell more, and in that way I got into this process of, of doing what I loved, making beautiful stuff every day, selling it at the flea market on weekends. Because for me it's also quite magical as a maker to make a business out of nothing as well. So I sat down and I thought about it and I realized that maybe I should build it a little bit differently to what I'd done before. And I thought I knew enough about the dye that I could then sell it onto the fashion industry. I had enough confidence to do that. So I had no money when I started. I got a landline and a telephone directory. And I phoned every single clothing company in the telephone directory. And I phoned this company called Leopard Frock. And I asked them for a, an appointment. And I went to see their buyer. And I borrowed my brother's car to go there. And I drove into this massive house in Saxon World and I looked at this and I was like, oh no, should I go back? <laughs> and I was there so I went for the interview and I met with the buyer and it was actually Marianne Fazler's studio. So that was my big lucky break. If I had known who I was going to see that day, I probably would have turned back. Then throughout that entire process, I also decided I wanted to write a book. If you'd asked me when I was a little girl what I wanted to do when I grew up, I would have said to you, I want to be a writer. Then when I was in my early 20s, I had kind of a, a crisis where I was like, I don't know if there's anything that I can write about that anybody would be interested in. So I shelved that dream, I put it aside, I was like, okay, maybe I won't do that. And I specialized in the textiles. Then in 2001, I decided I knew enough about dying that I could now write the book and the dream came back out of the closet. I read a book about self-publishing and I started to research putting together a book, research local craft publishers. And I would go into your CNA stores and I would pick up the craft books on the shelf and every time I held a Met's Press book in my hand, I would go, oh. I wanted to be like this, this is what I wanted to be. And I, I sent Met's Press a number of emails to which I received no responses. Then I went and did a craft show down in the Cape called Keen On Crafts and I met a wonderful woman there called Francie Snayman. And she said to me one day, she said, you know, wouldn't you like to write a book? And I said, I'd love to. And she said, well, I'm published, I could put you in touch with my publisher. So six months later, I was doing the same show again in Joburg and this lady walked up to me and said to me, my name is Wilsha Metz, would you like to write a book for me? My sister has told me all about you. So it took a little bit of time, we put together the book and finally it was launched at the beginning of last year. And in the year that's passed since its launch, we've sold 6,000 copies in South Africa and 8,000 copies in Canada and North America. So that's been an amazing journey for me. I've enjoyed every moment of it. So Ray's Corp, when I first did the research, just appeared to me to be an ideal fit for where I wanted to go. And um, it took me two short weeks to decide that that's where I wanted to be. I did the tests and I signed up. 
and it's been an incredible journey. I've had so much fun here. I've met the most incredible people here. I've created the most incredible network and I'm, I'm finally now living those things that I always envisioned for my business. So in the first 10 years of my business, it grew in increments. Now it's growing in leaps and bounds. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh.